Hello friends, welcome to Six Sigma Online Certifications. We are going to discuss about body of knowledge of Six Sigma Green Belt Certification. In this, we will discuss about entire contents of Six Sigma Green Belt course. Six Sigma Green Belt body of knowledge will contain Six Sigma fundamentals, identify phase which is unique in QLTM body of knowledge and DMAIC which is define, measure, analyze, improve and control. The Six Sigma fundamentals will include Lean Six Sigma Basics which is a revisit for the people who have already done Yellow Belt course of QLTM. Data analysis fundamentals which is must although it is a revisit and Six Sigma Green Belt Roadmap where the tools specific to Green Belt certification will be explained which tool to be used in which phase. Identify phase, purpose and requirements will be the first thing that we will study followed by project identification methodologies out of which the value stream map VSM is a method which we will discuss in detail followed by project prioritization. Define phase, again in define phase we will understand the purpose and requirements. Obviously you understand the purpose of define phase is identifying project objective that is project Y. Then second thing is baselining and target setting of this project Y in which we understand the present situation which is called baselining and, and, and set a objective value which is called as target setting. In third thing we will understand project management basics in which we will uh, understand some basic project management techniques like CPM and finally the project charter and team constitution uh, of for the project. Measure phase, in measure phase purpose and requirements where we will verify measurement system and stretch of targets, identify access. It, is, it means the causes which can impact our project Y using tools like fishbone diagram and process flow diagram. Then screening access which means dropping irrelevant causes which not, do not impact our project at all. Then advanced minitab concepts in which we will discuss about things like data arrangement, importing, exporting data and developing checklists followed by variable MSA, also what is gauge repeatability and reproducibility study. Uh, then attribute MSA in which we will discuss about uh, attribute agreement study in, uh, in which attribute data uh, validity is checked. Finally the capability study to understand the gap between best possible and present and validate the target is adequate or not. Analyze phase in which we will discuss basic concepts of FMA which we have already discussed in year level course. Then we will go to advanced concepts of FMA. Here we will better our understanding on severity, occurrence and detection ratings. Followed by correlation analysis which is linear relationship between X and Y. Uh, the upgrade of correlation is regression analysis which also helps us in establishing non-linear relationships. A very important theorem called Central Limit Theorem, which is basis of all statistical studies, is uh, considered in this phase. The applications of Central Limit Theorem, first of all, is confidence interval, where, where we actually understand the risk analysis and how do we give various ranges to values in a given confidence interval. The second application of Central Limit Theorem is hypothesis testing, which we will discuss about hypothesis test of means like two sample t test, ANOVA, uh, variance like two variance test and test of equal variance, uh, the proportion test like uh, one proportion, two proportion and test of means and we will discuss this in great detail including understanding of p-value will come here and finally we will prepare for experimentation. Uh, typically in this phase we decide the experimental ranges for access which we will consider in design of experiment in next phase. Improve phase, ANOVA, we will discuss this tool in detail because it forms the basic foundation of DOE. Then we will discuss about basic concepts of DOE to familiarize ourselves with types of exper experiments and basic terms of and jargons of the DOE. Then we will discuss in detail about 2K full factorial design 
and how to optimize for finding the best settings. Then in certain cases where we have to rely on past data or where we cannot actively adjust the process, passive data modeling will be discussed. We will also discuss advanced lean tools like SMED, load leveling and Kanban for understanding overall improvement perspective. Control phase, we will revisit our control strategies and control plans. Although it is covered in yellow belt, they are very critical to sustain results and therefore we will re revisit again them in green belt course. Then we will discuss advanced SPC. So apart from revisiting eight rules that we have already understood in yellow belt, we will also understand how SPC can be used as a control tool and also its various applications in different conditions. A very important topic called Poka Yoke or error proofing will be discussed in this uh, Green Belt program where we will discuss about various types of error and uh, what are the possible solutions as part of training. The control plan design is another element where we will discuss about how various parts of the control plan are designed and different control plans, which, which control plan is to be used where in what applications. And the final tool, which is called PTAP, Project Transition Action Plan, is a handover tool to transfer all the changes that we have made in the process and the results to the actual process owners. Let us understand what are the rules of a green belt. Potentially, a uh, green belt is a partial Six Sigma rule. That means it, they are also working in their work area as well as they are doing Six Sigma projects. Not like black belt who are on full time. So they are able to do their projects in their functional area only. And this has an advantage that these people are also, green belts are able to use their learning in their own area. And in normal working, day to day working, these learnings are seen you, being used. And a new language uh, is propagated across because in the normal working people are using what was the special cause, why do you want capex, is the long term and short term capabilities same. So this language propagates in the process, in the normal working. Also, uh, there is a culture which is getting developed because Greenbelt understand that the predictability improves with process adherence and therefore adherence culture. If we write a process, we start following that process is developed. Greenbelt also developed project management capabilities and because of development of project management capabilities, timely achievement of objectives can be seen. Even if the additional resources are provided, they are able to reduce time and they are able to achieve project objectives faster. They also understand team working better and therefore better team culture propagates in the organization. Thank you very much. Take an online quiz on this video or for Six Sigma certification visit our website ecourse.qltma.org. For further details please write to us on training at qltma.org.